We're here at the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2014 in Busan in the Republic of Korea, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Hesham El Alayli, who is Executive President of the National Telecommunication Regulatory Authority of Egypt. Mr. El Alayli, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you, Max, for your invitation. I'd like to start off by talking about uh, the mood that, that there is at the moment and the, the, uh, the time, the challenging time of the ICT industry, a time of great opportunity, but also a time when issues like financing of new network capacity is becoming critical. In a fast enabling environment, what do you think needs to be done for everyone to get the access that they need? Infrastructure is, is key. Uh, and uh, of course, the cost of the infrastructure is huge. That's why I think the trend should be through uh, sharing the cost of the infrastructure. And this is what we are doing in Egypt, where we are encouraging and we are putting the framework of a, a regulatory framework to um, issue a license for a new infrastructure company based on sharing the cost of the infrastructure, which is key because you would allow to deploy the, the infrastructure much faster and avoid duplication and based on sharing costs. So the cost will be much less, so you will be able to provide affordable services, which is key in the region. And what are the particular priorities for Egypt in the next four years to the next plenipotentiary? Egypt has a clear uh, vision, which is a really transformation toward the digital economy. But to do this, there is a lot of, uh, I would say, there are a lot of um, road blockers that we really need to uh, remove them and uh, so mainly the infrastructure we need to develop the infrastructure so that's why we are putting this infrastructure busy on the sharing uh, the cost of the infrastructure uh, of course we have to put the regulatory framework to allow competition uh, based on the same level playing field for all operators so uh, and uh, in, encourage the quality of services and innovation and of course, as well, uh, we need to um, remove the, what we call the e-frictions uh, in order to transform into digital economy. Uh, for the industry, as an example, the skilled uh, uh, labors, the skilled resources are key. The available capital for investment is key as well. Uh, for the part of the information, the information, the content, the, how to digitalize the content, how to work on the e-content uh, uh, with e-government, e-health and e-education. These are very important programs that we are developing now, as well as, which is the most challenging one, the individuals. How to change the culture of people to be, to let them more um, ease to use the internet, to, trust the internet, to use uh, uh, electronic payment through the internet. Uh, there is some of cultural transformation that need to be done as well in this area. And uh, in terms of uh, ICTs, do you think that ICTs are sufficiently recognized as a key development catalyst? And, and do you think that ICTs should be part of the future UN Sustainable Development Goals? And if so, why? I think they are key, uh, the ICT is key. Is it sufficient to recognize or not? Perhaps I would say it should be better and more recognized. So uh, I think it is very important to recognize the ICT contribution into GDPs. The GDP, uh, today our ICT contribution into GDP is about 4% in Egypt. Uh, what we are looking for is to double or even to go up to 10% by going, through, uh, going to the digital economy. We have seen in that uh, in most of the countries that they have followed and they have been transformed into digital economy, their contribution to GDP is at least 8%. Absolutely. So, and this is our objective. And of course, it has to be part of the sustainable uh, uh, part in the UN because this is key. 10% uh, of GDP is one of the major sectors that need to, we need to focus, we need to work together to further develop this sector and make its contribution much more and more uh, important into the GDP and into each country. And do you think that's achievable? It is, uh, because uh, uh, more and more people understand now uh, the, the importance of the ICT. Before maybe people saying, ah, this is technology and etc. but more, you have tangible results, you can see there is a real contribution in the GDP, there are real uh, investment. Uh, uh, and nobody now can 
uh, live without internet. Nobody now can live without mobile, without uh, broadband, and etc. So people are started to understand that it is key and it is very, very important, and it facilitates their life. It allows them to work more in more efficient way, to improve productivity, and as well uh, to reach a better uh, level and uh, reach a, a beyond the, the boundaries of the country to, to reach everywhere in the world. So this is key, I think. Mr. Elalali, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you, Max. Thank you.